Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel, All The Gear and Fox. So my YouTube channel is going to be about the kind of the, the gear that I've got. Um, I'm not going to review it. I'm just going to give you an honest opinion on why I bought it and if I'd buy it again. Um, so today, the first thing I'm going to review is the all new Crane Plus. Now, the reason why I bought the, the gimbal that I bought um, is because it works great. Um, I wanted just something that I could just put my GH5 on, which I'm filming on now, uh, plug it in and uh, and just be able to, to, to go, really. It's easy, it takes me, what, probably about three minutes to set the thing up, I just whack my camera on it, whack a few screws down, balance it, job done, I'm good to go. By the way, Fox is my 18 month old son, and he's just took a dump, and it stinks. But I'm gonna power on through this, kind of just ignoring the smells that are going up my nose right now, and focusing on you guys. But Jesus Christ, the boy stinks. What the hell have you eaten? God damn it. So, so I mean, I buy a lot of my stuff on looks. He's probably gonna bang his head in a minute so the camera may juggle, like jiggle around a little bit. Um, I buy a lot of my stuff on aesthetics, um, whether it looks good. Um, to be set fair, sometimes I don't even bother if it performs that great, long as it looks good. Um, luckily, this does both. It looks great, feels great. Got it out of the bag, um, and instantly it just felt solid. The, the tripod is great on the bottom. Ta-da, can be stood up anywhere you like. Um, handles really tough and rugged. It's got thanks. It's got a really great feel to the screws on it, um, and, it, and it, yeah, and it, like I say, it balances dead easy, and that's that's pretty much all I wanted. The reason why I bought this one is because I had the mobile version first, which is now a bit battered. Um, used it all the time. Um, again, just got a tripod on the bottom which was a main thing for me I could just stand it up record what I wanted to but again easy to balance I stuck it on the pixel 2 um, and and it was perfect chuck it around it didn't really bash up too much the only problem I kind of got um, on the crane plus is it kept dropping off at the start I think it was just because I didn't have the battery plugged in right because um, ever since then it hasn't really done it you okay buddy mind your head you want to get through Okay, you, you play there. Um, and I went onto the Facebook page and the support didn't look too great, to be honest. There was a lot of people moaning um, that, that they were never getting back to them. So if you've got a one that's crap, you might be in trouble. But mine's been okay so far. Um, there's a lot of alternatives on the market. I mean, there's just, I mean, there's gimbals everywhere. Um, he's now playing with the light switch. There he goes, <laughs> bless him. Oh, he's just playing with my lights now. Come on, buddy, Blip. there we go. There we go, good lad. I mean, I watched every YouTube channel there was um, on, on various different ones and everyone kept saying that the Crane Plus was kind of the one to go for. So I listened to you guys. You, you tell me it's good and I, and I believe you. It's, it's way better than picking up magazines that, that kind of just paid to say it's really good. What are you eating? Don't, no, don't eat that. Yeah, so the results for me were brilliant. Um, the, the mobile one kind of did kind of jagger a bit as it went followed the, 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 the subject around. I think it was kind of like the motor, it kind of just moved and then stopped and moved, stopped. Um, but this one hasn't done it too much. You can probably change that in the calibration of the thing. Um, I'm not technical minded. I, I don't I don't get in all that. Um, I just kind of like want to plug something in and it did be dead easy. Um, I do have a lot of professional camera gear. Um, I do cover a lot of weddings. I do a lot of portraits as you can probably see behind me. But, um, but I'm not, technical minded, I, I just need to know something set up and it goes. I had the Ronin M and, and that was a military operation to get that damn thing working. Or amazing stabilizer, but for me, with him, when you get five minutes to kind of just like set something up, um, it didn't work. So it stayed in the box, took it back, bosh, bought that instead. Great, happy with it, more than happy with it. The reasons why I bought it then, pretty much just covered that. And would I buy it again? Yeah, I probably would. Um, I, 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 I would recommend it, like purely for the fact that, that what it does, it, it does exactly what it should. Yeah, you might not be able to run with it like you would with a, with a stabiliser like the Ronin M, um, but you can do most things, you can move around, I mean, you just, you just have to find a way that works for you. So yeah, I think it's a great product. Fox, you wanna come say goodbye? We're done here, guys. That was my first video on the YouTube. I hope you liked it. Next time, I won't have the shit machine with me, but until then, say bye, Fox.